Hey y'all, so it is Andrea here at VW Family Farm and I'm super excited to bring this video today to you guys. Uh, we have been working towards this for a while now, um, several years in fact. We are kind of slow movers. Um, a lot of times things, products will come out and then uh, it takes us a while to decide if that is something that we think would be valuable to our homestead or especially to you guys on YouTube and things like that. But we are super pumped. I want to share with you something we have gotten in here at the homestead and tell you why I think it could possibly be really, really life changing for a lot of us. So let's get right to it. it is a harvest right freeze dryer and i know you've probably seen these on other youtube channels or around the internet or whatever they've been around for a while it's taken us a bit to wrap our head around what all we could use it for and and would that be something useful to us because i want to be straight up and honest with you guys i would want someone to do that for me but they are expensive um they i want to speak more on that in a second but there is a initial cost involved I do want to mention right here at the beginning of this video that uh, there's a link below and they're on sale right now. So this would be a great time to get one if you've already done your own research and you don't really care what I have to say, but you have been wanting one. They are on sale. So if I was you and I wanted one and I knew I did, I would jump on that. So on this video today, um, you when you get it, you're gonna read all your instructions and everything, and then you're gonna do a trial run because just like any kind of new thing in your kitchen, you're gonna kind of wanna like run it and like get off the new smell and all that, the manufacturing thing. So, so you're gonna do that. I'm not gonna show you that in this video, but we are going to freeze dry some cabbage in this video today. So I'm gonna get that started. So I am super excited about this. I actually scored some cabbage on sale from Azure Standard, one of my favorite places to grocery shop not too long ago. And it was more than I could use. I got a great deal. I could get it for half price if I bought 40 pounds. So I don't know if you've been around here very long, but I love a good deal. So of course I bought 40 pounds. So we've been eating off of it, but I don't want to let any go to waste. So that's the perfect thing to try out my new freeze dryer is to save something that could be going to the dump or out to the animals. And while that's not a waste, um, it's not what I purchased it for. It's not animal food. It's organic produce that I, I paid good money for in with the intent of us eating. So that's what I want to do. So let's get to shredding. I'm going to use a little attachment on my KitchenAid mixer just to make this easier and get this cabbage shredded up. And then we're going to get it on the trays and put in the dryer.
while this attachment didn't work perfectly, it sure beats doing it all by hand. Um, if you didn't know, there is a little portal on your KitchenAid mixer that you can get all kinds of attachments for. So that's what I was using. Um, I don't know if y'all can see down in here. I sliced this and um, I used the coarsest slicer on this. It's not actually for even cabbage, but I didn't want like minced up coleslaw or anything. So that was one head. These heads were pretty small. I'm thinking this will do about a tray. And so I'm going to go ahead and get several more prepared so I can fill the whole thing with cabbage. This is by no means like an exhaustive video that you could watch and it's a complete how-to on the harvest right because it is a pretty awesome machine and I am a newbie to it so I don't want you to think that like this is completely a how-to video but we are learning together and this is our first time doing it and I just want to kind of show you guys the process and we're gonna do this together so it's got this 15 minute cooling um, run that it has to go through before you load the food in so it's in that right now it says cooling vacuum chamber and we're waiting the 15 minutes we're almost there we're almost at 13 minutes we've got our cabbage prepared and we are ready to go so i don't know if you guys can read this or not it may just be kind of glowing to you guys but this thing is going to tell you exactly what to do i love that i love things like this it's like my first iphone i got it just i thought how am i ever going to learn this thing i just open it and it's kind of self-explanatory this is the same way it's going to kind of walk you through it it says on the screen, do not mix frozen with non-frozen food, load the food, close the drain valve, and then you continue. And it's going to kind of walk you through it step by step. Here comes my handy assistant. Almost like a van of white. And we have this in the man cave uh, because it does have a little noise to it. Then it's shut. Now it's pulled tight. Closed drain valve. Did you do it? Drain valve's closed. Continue. So it says freezing. So it's going to run through its cycles uh, on its own. And I'll kind of tell you what it does. So this is one of the main points I wanted to hit on showing the Harvest Right freeze dryer is I know not everyone has a homestead. Not everyone has the ability to raise and grow their own food but you can all score a good deal when things are on sale and that's what i did even with this cabbage and that's a great way to not lose money on food um, these things i'm not gonna lie they cost a good little chunk of money um, that's why we have not had one up to this point they they have a price tag to them but if you think about one of the things that is drives it drives ben absolutely crazy is to buy groceries and get a drawer full of produce and then wind up throwing it away if you think about that money alone that you could save by preserving that food that's maybe at the end of its shelf life um things like this cabbage if you watched it earlier it, it's getting to where it needs something done with it and there's not a great way to preserve cabbage other than sauerkraut um, if you can it it kind of gets mushy uh, it just i don't i don't really like it frozen and different things like that so this is a great way to save money on things that you could be wasting or to stock up on something if you find chicken thighs or um chicken leg quarters or something on a good deal and you could buy 20 50 pounds whatever the case may be and freeze dry them and you've got ready-made food um, and for years down the road 
So while we're working on getting that cabbage going, I want to talk to you about who this would be good for. And the number one thing I think of is a farmer or a homesteader. Uh, we have tons of food and one of our problems here on our homestead is so much food comes due at the same time like it doesn't matter here we tried to stagger plant but for some reason i guess it's the weather and the length of days and everything it just lines up i can plant lettuce like weeks apart and it just all seems to be ready at one time same thing with cabbages um, just different things like that it just seems like i have so much ready at one time and there's just certain things that i just don't like frozen or canned. One of those things for us here on our homestead is squash and zucchini. And you know, you can get a bumper crop of that or you can get none at all, let's be honest. But um, I don't really like the taste of those. Now you may have a way that you prefer it. I've tried it almost every way and it comes out, the texture changes when you freeze it. It never sautes or makes into a casserole or anything like that as well. When you can it, I've just never found a way that it's not really just kind of mushy. So there's just certain things that this is gonna be the perfect way to preserve them. And the second thing I wanna mention really quickly for a farmer and homesteader is, if you look into it, canning is a great way to preserve food. Um, but if you look into ways to hold the nutritional value of food, canning is probably not like the top one because it does lose nutritional value with um, just the canning process itself. But freeze drying, it retains like almost all of the nutritional value. It's it's just like fresh food when you rehydrate it. It's pretty amazing. And in future videos, I'm gonna be showing you that. I wanna show you the entire process to take something from like fresh to freeze dried and then back to eating it later. But that will take some time to do that. But I promise you guys, I will have some videos in the future coming about that. So I'm walking out in the garage um, and I mentioned freezing vegetables or freezing meat or anything that you raise on your homestead and that involves freezers so you can see one of our freezers this is our vegetable freezer behind me i can't believe i'm going to show you this because it's probably a mess but you can see there's all kinds of things in here um, but it would just take one storm which we had a pretty big storm last night one storm one power outage anything like that we don't have a generator here i know that that is risky but I really don't know what to say other than we just don't at this time. So if we lost freezers, we're gonna lose all of that hard work. So when you freeze dry, a lot of that concern is alleviated because you have less freezers to worry about. So if we were to invest in say a generator, we wouldn't have to have such a big expensive one. We might could have one freezer full of food. Now, as you guys know, we have a meat business, so that's a separate thing. Um, that's, that's not what I'm speaking about when I'm talking about our personal freezers. But um, you can see where freeze drying is so much more food security because you're just one power outage away from a disaster or a freezer going out. That's happened to us, it's happened to people I know. You can lose a freezer full of food without even knowing it so you can see we are on the drying stage now um, so that means it has pulled a vacuum this comes with a vacuum pump and I'm gonna do a dedicated video pretty soon about exactly all the parts to this but basically it freezes it to like negative 40 or something like that if you watch older videos you will see that um, there's like a, a black disc insulator thing you stick in the door you don't use that anymore we have we got the newest model which if you order you will too so um, if you watch other people's videos you may see that but we don't have one of those but it's actually going to freeze your food to like negative 40 and then it's going to start drying so we're in the drying process right now um, I told you earlier in the video I would tell you how loud this is it's actually not that loud at all now it is getting kind of warm but it's winter time here, so um, it's putting off some heat as it's drying, because when it's drying, it's heating back up. Um, it, but this room is kind of our man cave. It doesn't, it doesn't stay very warm because it's the furthest from our heating unit. So it's gonna be a perfect fit for us. It might just put off a little more heat in your house. I wanted to mention one more thing as well. Um, I know the price is probably gonna be most people's biggest concern with something like that. It is an investment, but a few things I want you to think about. As mentioned earlier in the video, all the food that's wasted, that's getting close to its date of being out, and then you have to toss that in the trash or the compost pile. 
Another thing, if you invest in freeze dried foods, like maybe you've purchased them online, they're pretty expensive if you look at actually what you're getting. Also, do you like to hike and camp and backpack? This is perfect for people like that, that are outdoorsy people. Um, and, and we like to do those types of things too. So purchasing the types of foods you need to take with you to do something like that can get very pricey. Ben has actually went to Colorado out in the wilderness before and spent like a week or two. Uh, and, and we spent pretty penny getting him ready to do that for the food he would need to take to be out away from everything electricity and just when you've got what you've got is what's on your back or on a horse um, that's that's a big thing to think about as well so you're gonna make a lot of that money back as far as canning goes guys we are in 2021 and the canning shortages the jars the lids the rings you may have some that you may think well we don't have a shortage I just saw them at my local store but from what I've seen, I haven't been able to get what I exactly needed, or if I did, I'm paying a lot more than I used to. Um, and a lot of times we're just, we just become okay with that, just paying more and more and more. But if you look at it, how just dramatically prices and shortages of canning supplies have went up in the last few years, canning's not cheap anymore. Now I will continue to can. I have supplies stocked up to do that for several years, but I will definitely, definitely be doing less of it and be incorporating freeze drying into my food preservation. And lastly, it just takes up so much less space. Um, so you have room for other things in your home, especially if you don't live in a very large home. Canning can take up quite a bit of room. And so I'll just be interested to see how much less room this takes up. That doesn't necessarily save you money, but it could. Um, if you have more room to stock up on, say, dry beans or different things like that for your pantry, um, you can save money if you, have, if you can buy in bulk. So I can see how having more room could actually in the long run save money as well. So this is all freeze-dried cabbage. Every last bit of it. That's four heads of cabbage, one per tray. Just ground up using the KitchenAid mixer and the grinder on the end of it, or the shredder, I'm sorry, not grinder. Andrea shredded all that. It took right at uh, 26, 27 hours to go through the full process for all of that. So as you can see, the cabbage turned out amazing. And that was something that honestly, I had 12 heads of cabbage left and it is getting to the point it needed to be used. It probably, some of it would have wound up in the compost or to the pigs. And I don't buy organic cabbage and then go to town to pick it up at an Azure drop to feed it to pigs, to be honest with you. So this is a super big win as far as I'm concerned. Really excited about having it. It would mean the world to us if you decide to purchase one, if you would click our link below. Um, and, and I would just encourage you, if you have the funds, um, to think about this as an investment for your future and for just not only your farm and homestead, but just your life in general. I would also encourage you to look in, they have a payment plan that you could do, so you don't have to drop that much all at once. Um, and I did wanna mention our unit is the medium one, so if you don't need that large one, you could get the small. If you need a bigger one, there's actually a large one, so it will just depend on your needs and your wants. I will see you guys on the next one. I appreciate you so very much. Go enjoy this beautiful fall, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and God bless.